the snake head. Oh, 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 you got it. Awesome. Snakehead. Oh, 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 you got it. Awesome. I think we have to go over there. Stay here, here. Oh, this is a huge one. <laughs> ah. oh, 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 man. <laughs> you got a net? No. Oh. Uh, Hold on, I, these things have teeth, don't they? No, no, I, I don't think so. No, 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 I, I don't no, think no, so. no, I, I don't no, think no. So. Oh boy. I, I have something, Steve. I have something. Yeah. Gra grab the. the All right. <laughs> Can you keep recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's put itself right in the bank. Okay, we got it. We got it tangled up here in the bank a little bit, but it's Is it on still? Oh no, it's on. It's on. It's on. All right, I got to put the camera down. I got to untangle the line. All right. All right. Oh. Okay. Just keeping pressure and tension on it. What is it? You see him right there? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think these things have nasty teeth on them. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, my fish is cold. That's a huge one. Ah, it broke off. Yeah, we, I was... That had to be at least an 8, 10 pounder. Second triple for the day. The problem is, is I'm not trusting my gun. I keep thinking it's hitting low and to the left and I need to just trust it because it's laser on, as you can see from these rounds right here. Perfect headshot, perfect headshot. Perfect headshot. This is the, the big male right here. Look at look at how his spikes kind of go every other direction. That's really cool right there. Big guy right there. And then these other two little ones here. And like I said on camera while I was in scope cam view, I've got to start trusting my scope. I know the scope and the gun are laser on and I keep trying to compensate and there's no reason
So I just had to reload and you can just barely see ahead. So when I say I had to reload, I actually took the mag out when I shot that guy. I realized I had one, one last round loaded in it. We stuck it back in the gun, indexed it, and took him. So then I just had to reload uh, both my mags and take that other one. So this is that monster iguana right here. And look at that orange color all on him. This is my, the first really orange, orange one I've gotten to lay hands on. I shot a monster probably twice as big as this guy yesterday, but he was across the creek and the professional wildlife guys went and got him. And then I got this little guy right next to him, lying right there. Oh, this is amazing. The colors on this guy are so vibrant and so like muted it's, i've never seen anything like it oh and you can see he's got some scars on him right here actually too here maybe i can shade and you can see a little better you can see a scar right here and some little scars right there where he's gotten into a fight before pretty pretty iguana All right, he's down, I'm gonna go get him. This is that huge monster. Oh my God, look at he's missing some of his toes from being in a fight, oh wow. This is that huge monster yellow one, missing the tip of his tail too. He is from his head up to about my shoulder. Look at the colors on this guy. And let me tell you, this iguana tore my ass up too. This guy right here. First shot, I hit him right there. I go over to pick him up, and he is just as lively as can be, all right? So I, I left my gun, though, so I had to carry him back, and he tore me right up. All right, this, this side, too, right there, those are from him. I put a round point blank in the top of his head, put the gun back down, go to pick him up it's like it didn't even phase him i ended up having to finish him off with my knife i kind of did a little splice in his head there man is he big so excited i think this guy might be the last one for the day i'm actually going to put him in the back of my car and go drive over to Erlis's work and show Erlis. oh look at all the scars on his tail wow you can really see the scars right there and on his back leg Oh man, this guy's a fighter. Scars right here on him, scars right there on him. Wow. This guy was definitely an alpha. Scars, look at another iguana bite mark right there on his tail. Oh yeah, you see the other side of the iguana bite mark. Wow, let's see his teeth. Let's look at his teeth. Let me try and open his mouth up here without getting bit myself and okay I'm pretty sure it's dead big old iguana mouth right there big powerful muscle jaws on this guy I am super excited perfect shot placement hit him in the brain like it didn't even face him and if you watch the video he just goes down shaking so I get him back over to where I got the gun reload hit him directly point blank in the top of the head goes nuts, Go, goes limp, all right? The round does not exit out the bottom. I'm shooting JSB Hades, so that close, it did not exit. Put the gun down again. Go to pick up my now dead iguana. It's like I tickled him, flapping all over the place. So I'm like, I have to end this because I'm getting all tore up, so I take out my knife and I just, I end it, you know, off camera as cleanly and as quickly and as humanely as I can. It's already dead, it's just, it's nerves, and these things are crazy. It can take its back foot. Here, let me show. It can take its back foot, come all the way back here, 
hook these giant toes around right into your skin and get you. Same with the front feet, and that's what it was doing to me. But look at this monster. Awesome, awesome. There's one more thing I have to do. I just gotta get that classic Jim's Fun Bird hunting pose in here. Ah, look at this monster. Look at him compared to my head. Look at this guy compared to me. Wow, I got him. What do you do when you shoot a monster iguana? You throw it in the back of your car and drive <laughs> it to your buddy's work and call him out. Come here, Holy check this boy. guy out. I don't know if it's as big as the one you shot yesterday. Let me see that, man. That's a monster, yeah, that's big. I think the one yesterday was a, a little bigger, but Yeah, I one... think the one you got yesterday was a little bigger. But look at, look at, it's been in a fight, look at that. Man, it's... It's missing fingers, and if you look, there's scars. I don't want to bring it out where you were, but there's scars right there. Look at, there's scars all on this side. If you look at its tail, there's bite mark from another iguana right there. Yeah, yeah, And right yeah, there yeah, you can yeah, see. Yeah. See, I mean, this one is nasty, so you get it. Perfect headshot here, right? Well, no, no, I got, this was the first headshot right there, right? Yes. Right there, yes. perfect. I go, I put the gun down, That's I go. That's the spot, man, behind the eye. I go to pick him up, it's like I tickled him. This was, this shot right in the top of the head was a point blank safety shot. Oh, I put the gun down again, I go to pick him up, like I tickled him again. I had to stick him with my knife mm. to finally finish mm -hmm. him off. Yeah, because this guy, this, that, he was dead, but he took a while, he took a while to yeah to finish he goes oh man steve nice big male this is a big male this yeah. is red also here's that monster iguana i shot earlier with the one with all the scars on it and this is an absolute beast of an iguana here too but you can see the size difference this one's just a bit bigger, just a bit longer with his tail. Is Yeah, his tail is probably, I don't know, I'd say probably a good six inches longer. This guy's really pretty. You see this guy has more uh, coloration. This guy even has a little hole right there in his dewlap. Awesome, beautiful, beautiful creature right here. You can see how they compare. Each big guys, each very big guys. All right, guys. This is awesome. Just so you can see a size comparison between these two. This is the monster I shot a little while ago. This is the one I just got. Look at this. Huge, heavy beasts. Giant dragons here. Look at these T-Rexes right here. Awesome, awesome. Oh, they're so heavy. Oh, look at One just jumped out of the tree right behind me. He can see his buddies and he don't like what's coming. Ah. Awesome. So I'm in Erlis's backyard right now and the awesome thing is that both his in-laws, his mother-in-law and his father-in-law are both doctors. So they were telling me what's the best thing to do to clean out this wound. Got some isopropyl alcohol 91, some uh, Kleenexes right here. I'm just gonna hose it right on, get these uh, iguana cuts cleaned up. Now I was warned this is gonna sting but you gotta do what you gotta do. Ah, it's not that bad. Okay, a slight tingling now. A little more slight tingling now. Oh, that's a good sensation. That's a feel-good sensation right there. Woo! <laughs> 
Ooh, it tickles. Get a little more on that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Let that soak on that side. Got lit up on this arm too. Ooh, feels nice. I'm finding cuts I didn't even have right now. I'm gonna put a little on my hands too. Swish my hands around. I've been handling these things. Hopefully this kills all the germs. All right guys, this has been a crazy, amazing adventure and it's only gonna get better. Stay tuned. They wanna rush in, cause a stampede. No handles, flying like a banshee. They use cheap codes, but we don't cheat though. No cliff notes, homie, we don't need those.